mixture A contains chocolate and milk in the ratio 4 is to 3 and mixture B contains chocolate and milk in the ratio 5 is to 2. A and B are taken in the ratio 5 is to 6 and mix it to form a new mixture. The percentage of chocolate in the new mixture is closest to. Here, chocolate and milk in mixture A is in the ratio 4 is to 3. Even if you take just one drop from mixture A, that one drop will contain chocolate and milk in the ratio 4 is to 3. Here, you are taking out A and B in the ratio 5 is to 6 means you are taking out 5 part from A and 6 part from B. So, when you take out 5 part from A, mixture A, multiply 4 is to 3 with 5. Now, even if you take just one drop from mixture B, that one drop will contain chocolate and milk in the ratio 5 is to 2. But here you are taking out 6 part. So, multiply it with 6. Now, here both the parts are equal. That is 4 plus 3 is 7 and 5 plus 2 is 7. That is in mixture A and mixture B, Components are equal. 4 plus 3 is 7 and 5 plus 2 is 7. So, no need to equalize the parts. So, just multiply together. 5 into 4 is 20 and 5 into 3 is 15. Here, 6 into 5 is 30 and 6 into 2 is 12. Now, if you add, this is equal to 50 is to 27. So, in new mixture, chocolate and milk is in the ratio 50 is to 27. Then, percentage of chocolate in new mixture is equal to 50 is the chocolate part out of total 77 mixture part into 100. This is equal to if I consider this as 49, 7 goes 7 times in 49, 7 goes 11 times in 77. So, 700 by 11 is around 65 percentage. Option 4 is your answer.